rocking with pettyblog.com. I can't be on the petty blog. <laughs> oh, petty. I wonder what pet T means. Like, does she have a pet that she really likes? Petty and T. I, 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 I was so dumb. <laughs> so they already know that I'm dropping the T. So let's get right into it. Rapper Keith Murray, who had hits like Candy Bar and, like like candy bar. and Fatty Girl. Fatty Girl recently revealed that back in the day he allegedly had physical relations with Foxy Brown, if you know what I mean, and that he was giving some hit, giving giving some hit to Shauna, who y'all may remember from DTP. And I must admit, he was very detailed, but also very out of his mind, if you ask me. And like one of his 90s songs, I think he was high as hell. As far as Foxy goes, he said, and I quote, we rocked hardcore, went in a hotel, and she gave me hardcore head. Head, bow, 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 and she gave me hardcore head. <sighs> so disrespect for me. He also said that Foxy cheated on her done man with him, and I quote, that's when I knew females are no effing good. She's a main artist whopping me off, married to this dude. Could you imagine your wife a rapper whopping off a ninja and then walking? She was trying to use me. It could have been guns popping that night in there in that lobby. I spent off. Man. Went the other way. It could have been guns popping that night. Wow, just wow. And as far as Shauna, all he really said was that he ate her kitty and that she didn't let him get none of it, okay? As in he never hit. Thinking you could pop me, man, you need to stop, please. Shauna, where are you at? And he also said that she was the one that got away and they could have had kids by now or whatever. Word is bomb. Right. But anyway, the two female rappers that he threw into his seemingly make-believe story times have clapped back and slammed him for his so-called revelations. Foxy took to her stories and wrote, Ninjas ain't pop since I shot ya. And for those who may not have known, the both of them were on an LL song together in 1995 called I Shot Ya. So that's to let y'all know that Foxy is directly responding to Murray, okay? Oh, shut now, there she go. A simple and direct response. And here is Shauna's response to it. She took to her page and stories and wrote, If y'all here because of Keith, y'all can gone back home crying, laughing, crying, laughing, crying, laughing. I know you leaf heads stick together. Ooh, goofy bitches. I could have agreed, you dumb mother F for you. Yikes. Which she captioned, Y'all believe anything. Get help. Okay. Then when someone wrote, Who gonna lie about eating some kitty and not hitting it? She said, Why would I lie about getting head and that was my biggest hit? Do y'all even think anymore? I'm asking seriously. Then when this person wrote, Nobody believes that ish but him. Crying, laughing, crying, laughing. She said, It's goofy mother effers on here trying to get a few more follows too. Crying, laughing. And when this person wrote, I've been here, but that ninja definitely ate something. Now what he ate, I don't know, crying, laughing. She wrote shrooms, crying, laughing, crying, laughing. Mm-hmm, does seem like it, he on something. And she also posted a clip of him from his delusions of how he was, you know, when he was giving that mm bop. <laughs> With her getting some head song overlaid on top of it and captioned it, Lil Wayne about to drop a getting some remix to the remix. Stop playing with me, I'm Chicago. Long live Rick James, bitch. Shauna. And when this person wrote, man, that it sounded like cap. I was listening to it like, bruh, if you don't stop lying, crying, laughing. Shauna wrote, all BS aside, I'm hurt because I was truly a fan. Oh man, but yeah. My Shana. Don't make me laugh. But on a serious note though, a lot of people just don't believe that he would lie about going down and not getting nothing in return. So therefore it's not a lie in their eyes because there's no way. Uh, yeah, it is. It's called people really be lying for no damn reason. And I can honestly vouch and say that when I was about 19 or 20, I had the same exact thing happen to me that happened to Shauna. Some dude that I went to high school with started going around telling folks that I knew that he ate it and I ain't give him none. They told me that he said it in a bragging way, which was a lie because first of all, no you didn't. What really happened was, is after high school, he begged me to, but the kind of mentality that I always had is, man, I don't know where your mouth been. And honestly, he was sus to me like a thought. So my common sense told me that if he's begging me to, then he's bagging hella other girls too. Mind y'all, I barely knew him, ain't have no classes with him, barely spoke to him in high school and only saw him in the hallways, so it was weird to me. And he was actually a really attractive guy, but just weird, like weird. Since high school, he was weird to me, but for you to be that cute and lie about something like that, 
makes you even more weird and then folks coming back telling me what he's running around telling people i'm like nah it ain't happened and they really wasn't believing me till this day because they felt how these people feel about shauna right now like why in the world would a dude lie about something like that I kid you not. And um, the only way that I can explain it is that niggas be dreaming. He wanna sex, niggas be dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> and please understand that had I let him eat it, then when someone would have asked me, like, I heard you got some head from so and so and left him hanging, I'd have been like, and did. So like, be for real, okay? And again, the point is that I believe Shauna, okay? And it also tells me that he's most likely lying about Foxy too, and is just saying anything because he's. <laughs> all right y'all so right when i thought i was done with the story i log in to see shauna is not done responding so here we go and y'all know how i do i need to give y'all everything that somebody said but shauna girl why you giving me more work to do now i'm just playing but yeah so she just wrote real talk keith got the wrong people around him y'all should be ashamed of yourselves He's a legend, the hundred. Which she captioned, I had to pause and really step out of the social media BS. I've never met that man, but obviously I need to. I would never let a le <laughs> My bad, y'all. It's just <laughs> shit funny, but yeah, so. Don't mind me, I swear I'd be laughing all day, but yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> I would never let a legend disgrace himself publicly if I was in his circle. I'm praying for you, Keith, and if you want to talk, I'm here. Heart emoji. Oh, that was so cute. Then when somebody wrote, I watched that interview before you said anything the way he describes everything he made me think it was true. She wrote, baby, first of all, I was skinny as hell back then. Voluptuous weird. Mm, okay. Got him. Word up. And when this person wrote, so you saying he totally made that BS up? Keith out of pocket if so. Under it someone wrote, he out of pocket either way just for bringing it to social media. To which Shauna responded and wrote, he's not bringing anything. He do this ish all the time. People been sending me random videos of him outside off his square. Just pray for him. I have not seen or heard of him since back in the day. Mm. And when this person wrote, she lying lol, she wrote F you and the fact that you don't see the real issue here. And when this person wrote under that, why she gotta lie? She's grown as F and clearly you not a fan cause she's brutally honest. You goofy ass hoes love typing ish, you mother effing 4G pilgrim crying laughing. She wrote, girl don't waste your energy crying laughing. I would have agreed with it and ran up the numbers. Okay. And when this person wrote, I think Keith Murray did eat that cause it's been over with and here it is five to six days later and you still making posts about it. She wrote, no, less than a thousand followers. They keep tagging me in more posts. Not calling him less, <laughs> not Shauna calling him less than a thousand followers, girl. <laughs> And when this person asked, so did he eat your cat or not? A simple year or no will do. Nobody's judging either way. Under it, somebody said, she literally said they never met, lol. To which the person who wrote it responded and said, yeah, and I know women who sleep with men in Vegas and say it never happened because it was 500 miles away from home. Shrug. To which Shauna said, shut up, booty liquor. Only a solid mother effort gonna understand where I stand. Oop, she told him. And when this person wrote, Keith Murray a legend? Shauna responded and said, a lot of these mother effers was born in the 2000s, this day life, just arguing on social media. Okay, and that is true. But yeah, so there you have it, folks. So let us know what y'all thinking. And if you got more time today, check out some of what the people who believed it or didn't thought.